Hi, welcome to the Quick Flip Slideshow After Effects Template Customization Tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go over really quickly uh, how to customize this with your videos or your photos, uh, how to change the text, uh, and a few other things. So let's uh, go to our Quick Flip Render Comp timeline and just want to talk about this really quickly. As you can see, um, we have all of our scenes our animated scenes uh, laid out in this timeline. Uh, we have a layer called master controls and there's really just one control layer in here. Um, and if you go to your effects controls panel, you'll see it's to turn the placeholder text on or off. So it's not the actual text banner, but uh, it's just the text inside that image. So if you turn that off, uh, just click to, and you want to turn that off before you render. Uh, as well. And if you don't want this on while you're working with the project, you can always turn it off. It's there so when you're working with the project, uh, you can see which image you are looking at rather quickly. And I also wanted to show you each scene just has, uh, just animates in over the next scene. So this works well. Let's zoom out here. If you want to extend a scene, all you have to do is select uh, the scene that happens after it. So if we wanted to um, extend scene two, if you hold your cursor over the end of that layer and then just drag to the right, you can see you can extend that. Then if you select scene three, which is the next scene that happens, and then hold down uh, shift and select the closing scene layer, you can move all these layers over so that way when you you can play this video through and then the next scene comes in, you can just determine when that next scene will show up. So you'll find in this template that the way that it's set up, it is a uh, modular so you can re-edit and rearrange uh, and move different uh, scenes around in your timeline. Uh, you can also make this shorter so you can turn some of these layers off, uh, make your composition link shorter, uh, whatever you need to do. And at the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how to add more scenes to this template. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our project panel, go to the replace images here folder, scroll that down and go to replace image here 01 and double click to open up that composition. We have a, a placeholder. It's just a dummy placeholder. It even says delete this placeholder. You can turn that off or delete it uh, either way. So I'll just turn that off for now. And then uh, we want to import our photo or video. Either one works in this template. So to import, we'll go to File, Import, File. And then we will select an image. Maybe this one. Click Open. And then we'll just drag and drop this image from our project panel into the timeline. There we go. And if you want to uh, scale this down, you can uh, twirl down to go to our transform properties and go to scale and you can drag that either way. And so now let's customize the text in this scene and we'll also change uh, the color because it obviously looks a little bit funny over this new photo. So we'll go to a project panel, go to the replace text here folder, twirl that down and double click to open the replace text here 01 composition. And in our timeline, you can double click on the text layer. You'll have a, you'll see this capital T next to uh, the layer name. And if you double click on that, it will uh, become highlighted and you can type your text. And then if you go to your character panel, you can change your font uh, and you can change the size if you like. If we go back to our render comp, you'll see our text is updated. And to change the colors of that text banner, you're going to want to double click on the scene composition, or you can go to the project panel, go to the scenes folder and double click on scene 01. And if we take a look at our text controls layer and go to our effects controls panel, you'll see we have a color control where we can uh, use a color picker to choose a new color. And we can also adjust the width of this banner. And we can change the height position or the Y position. Uh, you don't want to, on some of these, you don't want to change the 
X position, and this actually is not set up to change that because the text folds out from the center. So if you were to change uh, the center point or the X position, uh, it, some of the text layers might show up before they need to, or there's gonna be a lot of adjustments that need to be made um, if you actually do that. So, uh, so we're just gonna use the Y position so you can move this up or down by dragging on this point. Okay, and if we go back to our render comp, our text has been updated and we have our first scene customized. And this process is basically the same. And so you would repeat this process for each scene. So let's go back to our project panel. And you'll see in these folders, we have a replace logo here folder. And that just contains one composition, which is uh, to replace your logo. It works exactly the same as replacing an image or a video. If you don't have an image or a video, uh, you just want to type some text here. You can you have a text layer that you can customize by double clicking on it. And we also have a shape layer in the background. Um, if you select that and go up here to the top, you have your fill color options and you can change the color as well. And so again, this works just like uh, an image. If you go to file import file and then find your logo, you can just drag it into this composition. So let's say you had more than 20 uh, photos or videos that you want to show in your slideshow and you want it to be longer than one minute. Uh, the way you would add more or to this template would be to almost double up this template. So the way you do that is you want to uh, save the file, file you're working with. So just file and then save. Then you want to go to file and do save a copy. And we can just keep the same name and just leave the copy there and just hit save. And uh, you'll probably want to open that. You'll have to go to file, open project, then open your copy. So you'll customize this copied file with your new set of photos or videos and text. Um, and then what you want to do is go back to your original file, open that up. And now you want to import the copied file into your original file. And to do that, you'll go to File, Import, File, select that copied project, and click Open. And if we look in our project panel, you'll see that After Effects is imported, that After Effects file as a folder. And inside this folder, we have all of our assets, we have all of our comps, we have all of our scenes. So the only thing you need to do is uh, go to your render comp that you have open, right click on it and go to composition settings. And in the duration, we're going to add another minute here. So we're going to make it two instead of one. Click OK. You want to zoom out of that timeline. We'll extend this so we can see what we're doing here. You'll want to go to your copied uh, project folder and make sure that it is a copy because will, all of these um, comps will have the same name because it's taken from your original file. So it might be easy to get confused. So just make sure that you are in this uh, folder. Go to the scenes folder, and then you can drag these scenes into your timeline. You can put that wherever. Then you can edit those together. So again, all you're doing is dragging in the scene compositions from your imported copied project file uh, into your render comp. So this is uh, instead of having to copy and paste and duplicate and replace full, uh, images, it, this is a much, much easier way to extend this template uh, to your needs. So I hope that was helpful. If you ever have any questions, of course, you can always email me uh, through support on our website or just email me directly, marissa at flexvfx.com. Thanks for watching.